All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Kerbal Reusability Expansion, which is being made by forum user Svendi. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a collection of SpaceX-inspired parts to help you build reusable rockets. And who wouldn't want that? So let's just jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at the parts currently added in by this mod. Now, of course, let's grab ourselves a Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake, but also this time because several of the parts of this mod are actually designed specifically to go with the Mark 1-2. And the first of those parts is in fuel tanks where we have the Dragon fuel tank, which holds 180 liquid fuel and 220 oxidizer, and this lovely little thing just slaps right onto the bottom of the Mark 1-2, and as you can see right there, continues on the ladder on the side of the ship and I love that it makes it so much easier don't you don't have to worry about going down to utility and grabbing another ladder part so now your Kerbals can go straight from the hatch to the ground without any issues and it's it's a nice little addition now if we zoom back out a little bit and actually throw this thing on top so you can get a better look at the detail of the interior you'll see it's a quite well designed a lot of detail has been put into this thing compared to a lot of the fuel tanks that we have in the game and I do love seeing just each of these individual tanks in here and the nice sort of copper piping in there it's uh, all very very well made I do enjoy it now for the next part that we have we have to go down to the engines tab where we will find the super Draco engine which has a maximum thrust of 90 kilonewtons a engine ISP max at 260 vacuum and consumes 3.177 liquid fuel and 3.883 oxidizer per second and is a lovely radial engine that just goes right on the side of the capsule there and provides you it may not seem like a whole lot of thrust but it's actually pretty decent when you are landing on a planet I've actually used it quite a few times to land well back here at the Kerbal Space Center so far with um varying degrees of success which is mainly due to my flying but it's proven to be quite a useful deceleration engine for landing i really have quite enjoyed it and of course it's mainly designed to uh, be used with multiples on there and goes perfectly with this command pod i do enjoy it ever so much. Now, the next area we need to go to is in aerodynamics, where we of course need something to sort of hide all these lovely fuel tanks, and of course, provide us with some heat shielding. And that comes into this 2.5 meter heat shield with an ablator amount of 800, and it just, of course, slaps right onto the bottom there, and is, well, pretty typical, just sort of heat shield, with one exception. If we right click on it, it has little retractable feet and I, oh, it makes me happy. You know me, I'm a sucker for anything animated and just, oh, look at it, it's just, boop, there you go, you got little legs, it's great. And goes very well together with everything else. A very, very nice design. Now we have a couple other items here in aerodynamics in the form of three different sized grid fins. Now the smallest of which being this particular one right here. Let's actually go off from the four symmetry. There we go. A quite nice small little grid fin. It will provide a nice little control surface for you to actually move your ship around we then have the medium sized grid fan if you want uh well a, a bigger fin for a bigger ship who did not mean to grab that engine but there we go and then finally we have the large grid fan which oh boy is just <laughs> massive this thing is quite big but you know a very useful control surface and of course each one has a different rating the small one having a wing area rating of uh or wing area relative of 0.1 the medium one being 0.4 and the large one being 0.75 with the control surface positions going from 12 up to 80 and so you've got uh, varying degrees of control at varying degrees of size and just overall they look quite cool, and of course, they deploy. And also, which I actually really like about this grid fins, we've seen actually a lot of these parts that we've had so far in other mods as well, but I always like looking at different mod makers' takes on the same parts. I think it's quite fun. And these are the first of the grid fins that I've seen modded into the game so far that actually move, so they do actually animate like a uh, regular control surface would, and that... 
That's quite cool. Now, uh, for the final few parts, we need to go into utility, and we're actually gonna need to zoom out a little bit and actually pick up, uh... Let's grab, say, a jumbo tank there. Beautiful. Ooh, actually also one more thing to point out about the heat shield there. You notice we do have a shroud for it, which is quite a nice checkered shroud, which, of course, you can turn off if you so desire. But personally, I like it on. And let's zoom down a bit and out and down to utility, where we will find a series of six different SpaceX landing gears or landing legs, however you want to call them. And I, oh god, I love these things. Now, all of them are rated the same, with the exception of their mass, ranging from the small one having a mass of 0.15 tons, to the medium being 0.4 tons, and the large being 0.8 tons. Beyond that, they all have the same stress tolerances and are just in different sizes. The small being about yay big, the medium being about yay big. No, god, look at that point up there. It's already almost as big as the ship, and then the large-sized one being, well, yay big. And as you can see, it's a, <laughs> its little lock-in point is way the crap up there, which, of course, again, does animate nicely, so this thing does open and close, and that's why we do have this part up here. It's, uh, I guess, just where it attaches to the ship along the uh, body of the craft, and it's, uh, it's quite nice. I do like all these legs. As you can see on the largest one, it actually has a fair amount of detail in the texturing if we actually zoom in, which I quite enjoy. Now, it's, of course, exactly the same on the medium and the small, but it's a bit harder to see, but you actually get to see all that lovely detail there, which is quite cool. Now, of course, we also have the exact same lander legs, just in a different color, if you'd like to go for a different aesthetic style, which is always nice to have that option. And again, we have the black ones in small, medium, and of course, large styled and yes they're exactly the same in every way shape and form with the exception of their color so just whatever look you want for your ship well there you go you've got your two well two options of either black or white but yes that is all the parts for Kerbal reusability expansion that it currently has I don't know if more will be coming in the future I hope so because well quite frankly I like the quality of all these parts and so let's go and grab a crappy little ship I made earlier just to show all these off in the world we have ourselves some grid fins the lander legs and our whole lovely system up here with the mark 1-2 so let's go out to the launch pad where I do unfortunately need to tell you about one bad thing with this mod. If we zoom in to the craft, and remember what I said earlier, that these fins do animate with where you're pointing or where you're controlling. Now notice down here, I am actually yawing and pitching, and they aren't moving. There does seem to be a bug with these if you start them in the game, deployed. But if, say, I retract the fins and then deploy them again, well, there we go. See, now it animates. So yeah, it's it seems to be an odd thing. I don't, I don't exactly know why it does that, but if you start the fins off being already deployed, it will not animate. It will still actually work, so you don't have to worry about that. It still will actually work as a, the uh, grid fin, it's just that it won't animate. So that's the only difference. So if you don't care about it animating, just roll with it. But for me, how oh, I like seeing the animation. Look at that, all of them moving in unison. It is quite nice, I do enjoy it. So if you ever do start them deployed, just know you may have to, you know, retract them and then deploy them for a second time before they actually animate. Now as for our legs, they're, you know, just nice little legs and actually could be quite useful for taking crafts off from other worlds. So if you land one of these, say on Duna, this will keep it nice and steady for when you then need to launch again, which of course we'll do by just going we, there we go. And we can just close them up with no problems whatsoever. Now, of course, we're not actually wanting to go to space here, but we can use the fins, as you can see here, to wobble our craft back and forth a bit, if we so desire. It, you know, it works quite nicely. I do like these control fins. They are very, very useful, and I just love their form factor. Now, let's actually drop these engines, and bye bye because, well, <laughs> we don't really need you anymore. 
we have this main pod here, which of course we do have our own engines, and boop, there we go, our own little landing legs. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I love those things so much, but I do. And let's wait for this baby to uh, flip over on its side. And then we'll be able to slow ourselves down with our lovely Super Draco engines. I forgot their name momentarily. But there we go. We can just uh, turn off that UI, because who needs that when you have... <laughs> Power! There we go. So that is the engine particle effect for these. Not exactly the most impressive thing in the world, but you know what? It serves its purpose quite well, and it's, uh, you know, just a nice little functional engine for it. Oh my god, we have actually already slowed down quite a bit since I didn't have the UI turned on. And yeah, they are a fairly powerful engine, but dear god, do they use liquid fuel <laughs> pretty quickly. We're actually going back up into the sky, and now they're out. And, oh well, you guys are all doomed, or you would if I actually remember to put a parachute on this thing for a change. Normally, my poor Kerbals die at the in these videos because I forget to put one on there. But not today, my friends, not today. But yes, this has been the Kerbal Reusability Expansion. If you would like to check any of these parts out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. And I would definitely say to go and give this mod a try. It's a fun little mod. And again, I know that a lot of these parts, we have seen comparable parts in the past from other mods. But so far, I think th this uh, particular one is my favorite iteration of them so far. I especially do like that the fuel tank does go in line with the ladder here. And we have all the nice little bits and bobs. I do like the little Super Draco engines. It's just overall a very well-made, good little mod. So definitely go check it out. Have some fun with it. And of course, I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next when we will, of course, be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, my friends, have a good one!